What up guys, Digital Slang, welcome back. So today we're gonna check out a very unique product geared for the world we live in now, the pandemic driven world. In a world where more and more people are working from home, we are getting more and more products that help us do a better job at working from home. And this is one of those, the NextPad T530 conferencing tablet from Nextvu. Now, this is meant to make your life easier if you do a lot of video conferencing, conferencing calls, Zoom, whatever application it may be, this will handle it. This does have Android 10 built into it with full access to the Google Play Store. So we're gonna check it out. Now, full disclosure, they did send this to me for a full review, but not a paid review. You guys will see this before they do. The NextPad T530 conferencing tablet. Let's check it out. We're gonna dive in. We'll take a look, we'll see what's in the box. And then we'll go over all of the specs and we'll try it out and see how it works. So here we do have the quick start guide, the user's manual. Now what's cool about this tablet, this is the black colorway. And let's take a look at it. Very nice tablet. And you're going to be able to use this in any orientation. So you can set it like this and you have your full eight inch display right here, or you can stand it up this way and use it like this, depending on what orientation you want to use, you know, whatever works for you is going to work. And that's always a good thing. Options are always a good thing. Let's see what we get in here. I'm sure the power cable is gonna be in here. Let's see what else we get. So they do include an HDMI cord because you can plug an HDMI in here and run it to a TV, run it to a display if you want to have you know, a bigger screen. So always a good thing there. Again, options are good. What do we have here? This is going to be the plug and the power cable. And it looks like we have a couple different options here. Looks like we have a UK option for a plug. Yeah, different plugs for different locations all over the world. Very cool. And then we do have an ethernet cable here. You can use this and connect it directly to your cable or you can use Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth 4.2, or you can also use your Wi-Fi. So again, lots of options on this thing. And let's take a look at the actual tablet here so you can see the branding here on the top. Now this display is a full HD display, eight inch display on here. We do have some options on here, over here. And this is your cutout for your camera. It is an eight megapixel camera on here. Again, built in Bluetooth 4.2, as well as Wi-Fi. Here on the side, you have your HDMI port. This is going to be your power button. And then the switch here, we'll see what that does in a little bit. And then on the back here, you're gonna see your internet plug. This is where you plug in your ethernet cord and your power. And then you have a lock button so you could lock it. You can keep it safe and secure. So nobody, even if it does get stolen, nobody's going to be able to use it. So very cool. Right now, we're gonna plug this in, check it out, and take a look at the next pad T530 conferencing tablet. All right, guys, we're all set up. We got some power, we got some juice. Now you can see here, the brightness on here is good enough. If you wanna use this thing outside, I wouldn't recommend it because it's not that bright, but indoors, it's going to be fine. Right now, this is only about three quarters of the way up on the brightness, and again, Android 10. And I don't think there's gonna be any updates for this. I did go in, search for a software update. It is running Android 10 right now, but no updates are available, so this is probably it as far as Android 10, but you do have full access to the operating system just like you would on a phone. So very cool. And again, full access to Google Play. Now what's very cool is that a lot of these apps do come pre-installed on here. So you're gonna have apps like Zoom and Teams. They're all pre-installed on here already. And of course, if you want something else, you can go into the Play Store and you can open up the Play Store and just use whatever you want. So. Very cool. Now, earlier in the video, we talked about this button up here on top. I wasn't really sure what this was. This is a shutter button. And then you can see here, once I close it, the lens gets covered. So you do have a little privacy feature on here, which if you are on a Zoom call or something, Teams or whatever it is, and you want some privacy, you can turn this on. Your screen will black out and it will just be your audio that is going through on your meeting, on your call, whatever it may be. So a pretty cool feature, a little privacy feature on here. And not only that, but you can control that inside of, say, Zoom. If you just swipe to the left, your screen will go all black. And the same thing will happen, basically, 
it'll shut off your camera and I'll show you that once we go into the app but again full access again full HD 1080p now I did run a zoom call but one thing I want to show you guys real quick if I set it down this way and I'm in a zoom call the camera is actually over here so I think the better option would be to use it in this orientation so if you're looking at whoever you're talking to in the zoom meeting you know at least your camera is up here you're not going to be looking a little bit weird when you're looking it's going to look like you're looking away from the camera if you do use it in this orientation it's not too bad but you'll see what i mean once we go into the app now i also did run a Geekbench on here so we can see this thing does have 32 gigs of internal storage on it and you can see here Android 10 the Adreno 506 is the chip 1920 by 1200 resolution with the PPI of 320 so you know decent specs on here don't compare it to any high-end tablet this isn't made for that this is made specifically for zoom calls and things like that so if we do go in to zoom we'll do it in this orientation like i said we'll start a new meeting and we'll go in and you'll be able to see again the camera is pretty decent on here and you can see i got to kind of sit up for you guys to see it or you're not going to be able to see it but overall it's pretty cool and it's hard for me to get this on camera right now but Again, like I said earlier, if we swipe over, it's going to give you, it's called safe driving mode, but it's basically the same thing as putting the shutter down. Because if we, we're in here and we close the shutter, it's going to go to black and your audio is going to go through. So very cool. Now you also do have a mute button here on the bottom. And if you click on this mute button while you're in here, your audio will show up on there and it will tell you if it's on or off. Right now it's on. And then we also have down here, these are volume controls. So your volume will appear over here if you're in a Zoom meeting. So very cool. So now what I want to do, we're just going to do a mic test so you guys can hear the mic and what the microphone sounds like on the tablet. Let's check it out. All right, guys, the mic test for the next pad, just a, a really cool conferencing tablet. This is what it will sound like if you're in a Zoom call on the other end. This is what your voice is going to sound like. What do you think? Let me know. Drop a comment. Let me know. Now, this does say that the audio on here does have echo cancellation as well as noise reduction or noise shielding to give you crystal clear audio. So I don't have anybody around right now to jump on a Zoom call with me, but I will show you. We'll play a YouTube video real quick. You guys can hear what the audio sounds like and the mic test. You guys just heard the mic test. It sounds very clear. Sounds very nice. And again, this is built for people in if you're in a boardroom or if you're in a meeting room. There's not going to be a lot of, of outside noise going on. And if you're at home, okay, maybe you got some kids running around if you're working from home. But for the most part, it's going to be a quiet environment, right? You're not going to be using this in a loud, noisy environment. But you heard the audio of my voice. Now you're going to hear the audio of what it sounds like coming out. So, again, this is YouTube because it's a tablet. You can go on and you can use it like a regular tablet. So the audio is decent. That's basically full volume right there, maxed out with the audio. And I do wish it was just slightly louder. I would like a little more volume, but your speakers are just on, on the right side here. So, you know, maybe a few more options would have been good. Now this display on here does have 78 degrees field of view. So overall, a good field of view. Again, full HD display. You can use it just like a tablet, right? It's not as powerful and as strong as a tablet. I showed you guys the Geekbench. But it does a decent job and again it's not meant for that but if you did want to browse the internet or do something like that you can connect it with an ethernet cable you can go wi-fi you can connect it bluetooth and again the hdmi cord on here allows you to put it and you can connect it to another display you can connect it to a tv that has hdmi outputs or inputs so look a very cool tablet here two things i would like to see maybe on the next version a little bit louder of a speaker on here and maybe a little bit brighter of a display i find myself wanting more with the display but it's not bad actually on the inside i just can't turn it up all the way in here because with all the lighting i have in here it will be blown out and you're not going to be able to really see the display so display is okay but definitely more audio a little bit louder i would like to see maybe another notch or two 
But other than that, let me know what you think of the tablet. Let me know what you think of the microphones on here because that's what it's going to sound like if you are in a, you know, a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting, whatever it is, Google Duo, whatever it is. So very cool running Android 10, 32 gigs of storage. Price on here, guys, $399. The next pad, check it out. I'll drop a link below. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. Have a good week, guys. Peace.